<laughs> she found the cheese. Yay! <laughs> I love it. That is so cute. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna hop right into it today. We're gonna be creating an automation that turns text into video, whether it's a social media post, whether it's a blog post, or even just comments. We can create videos from these text formats, and we're gonna be doing it with a platform called Hi Lulo. They are the creators behind Minimax, and that's what we're gonna be using today. And it's currently one of the top rated AI that's out there uh, for video platforms, uh, for creating text to video. Uh, and we're gonna be using that in our make automation and in our Airtable today. So let's take a look at the automation in our Airtable. As you know, I love using Airtable for storing all things. Look how pretty I got it going. So it has our images, it has our videos, and you know, that's, what we do in our lab. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about that. I have a school called the AI Marketing Automation Lab, and here's what our school is about. We create AI automations that make the lives of marketers easier. We are creating a community of like-minded individuals who fuel each other's successes and boost each other up. And last but not least, it's about staying ahead of your competition because AI continues to evolve and you wanna stay up to date with it. You don't wanna get left behind. So we're gonna start by building in the Airtable now. So going to the Airtable to build this out, it's really just five simple fields we'll be doing here. The first field we're gonna call social posts. And you could copy this uh, if you're in the school directly, just download, poop, it's yours. Uh, but if you're not, you're gonna wanna create a base. Call it Minimax Videos for Social Media. And in the first table you're going to create, it's going to be uh, the only table that we need and we're gonna call it Posts and Videos. The first field is going to be a long text field, and we're going to call that social post. In the next field, it's going to be called video prompt, and that's going to be a long text field. We're going to save that. And then here, our third field is going to be a single select field with the choices of run and, or done. And now we have our fourth field. This is going to be the attachment field where the Minimax video plops in once the automation is done. So we're gonna give that a save. And then as always, we need our last modified field. Uh, this is last modified time. Last modified time is going to trigger the automation based on what's in there most recently. So once you have that done, we could jump into building the make automation. Again, you want this, join the school, one click, it's yours. Uh, but for now, let's just build it out together. The first module is an Airtable module, which is watch records. You're gonna have to create a connection to the base that you just built uh, just by clicking add. You wanna click uh, Airtable, OA auth, and then I'll take you through the whole process. Uh, then you're gonna connect to the Minimax videos for the social media table, and that's called posts and videos. And the trigger is going to be last modified. Label field doesn't matter so much. Uh, limit, because I really don't want this thing going crazy, creating a bunch of videos. I just put the limit as two for now. So now we need to create a filter right here. So click on the lines, and our condition is gonna be create Minimax video, and that comes from the Airtable right in the front for watch records, and we want it to say run. It'll only process a video unless it says run. It will not process anything if it says done. But if you change it to run, then it'll process it again. All right, the next module we're gonna add is OpenAI, and this is a completion prompt. So, opening it up, we are going to make a connection. Uh, put in your OpenAI connection right here. So I like to use ChatGPT 4.0. It's the latest system. I like using the latest model. You can choose whatever preference you like, but I think the latest is the best, and I think it writes as well as Claude, and I love me some Claude. All right, so then we have our really well-developed prompt in here for creating Minimax videos. And I'll include that prompt in uh, my school. But if you're not in this school and you need to create a prompt for the video, then just go to Ask Chat GPT 4.0 and it'll create a prompt uh, for Minimax. It's like a prompt on a prompt. <laughs> 
Uh, but so basically, it says you are a marketing professional and a creative expert. Uh, analyze post content, create a video concept that captures its core, mes core message. And then down here, it tells Minimax uh, a very detailed prompt of what to do. So up here, you'll say uh, social post. You're going to want to include that. Uh, and that comes from the Airtable watch records in the front. All right, once you have that, we need to include this. Uh, this is a text parser. And here, I want you to copy this pattern, like copy and paste it exactly the way it is. And I'll explain why. Uh, we did a lot of testing to get this right. So in order to work with Minimax, you, we have to pass a very clean string of text. Uh, it can have nothing but text and spaces. It can't have any other kind of output, uh, otherwise it just won't work. No special characters, no asterisks, nothing. No quotes, nothing like that. So <laughs> ChatGPT loves to put that stuff in all of its content. So what we want to do is we want to pass it through this text parser. We want to give it a new value we put in here. It's called empty string. The text, click here, and we're going to be selecting the output over here from OpenAI which is going to be underneath the, underneath these choices right here, underneath message and content. And we're putting that in there, click that, and it will populate right there. And what we're doing is we're taking the output from OpenAI and passing it through the text parser to make sure it doesn't use any of those characters because then it won't work in Minimax whatsoever. So where do we go now? Well, before we go to the next step, we need to go to Minimax and get your API key. So we're gonna jump over there so hiluoai.video is where you want to go to get your API key. So then you come down here and you click API. And in the API, when you get to this section, click account. And you're going to want to set up an account uh, to get the API. And to do that, you just go to billing and add in your payment information. And then from there, you'll be able to generate an API key for your automation. And once you have that, Let's come back over to make. We're going to go into this Minimax text to video and it's a make a request module. So just copy this exactly as it is. We want to put this URL in the method uh, and that method is going to be post and under name we have authorization. And then here's where your API key goes right after the word bearer. And then you want a space and then you want to paste your API key in that space is crucial. And it's a really long key for Minimax. Not going to lie. Uh, so the next item is content type under name and the application is going well the value is going to be JSON now our body type uh, we want it to be raw so you select that from the drop down menu then we have our JSON application we want to select under content type and now you want to copy this exactly as it is for request the content and this is what the prompt has to look like for Minimax in order to work uh, this field is inside of quotes. Uh, it comes from the text parser. So you just put that in there from over here and you click OK. The next module we want to add is a sleep module. Because we're doing to text to video, the video takes the longest time to run as opposed to image to video. So I found that we need to have about a five minute delay. So I put in 300 seconds here in order to get that to work. The next we're going to do is we're going to add another HTT module for make a request. And this one you want to copy exactly what we have up here in the URL. This is going to get the task ID for us. So it needs to ping Minimax to find out what the task ID is. Uh, the method uh, is going to be get. And again, you're going to put your bearer key in here. So copy the same information that you had before. Uh, the content type application is going to be JSON. And there's nothing else you have to put down in here except for this URL and the task. That task ID comes from the previous module that we just worked with. And then there's one more step here. Uh, we're going to add another HTTP module. And this one uh, is actually going to retrieve the video file for you. So we're going to copy again exactly what we have up here. We're going to take the ID from the previous module. You're going to go to data, which is opened up right here and you want that file ID. So click that, it'll populate right there in the field as it is there. Uh, the next method, uh, the name is authorization. The content type value is going to be JSON. And you're gonna type in authority 
underneath the name and the value, just type it in exactly as it is right there, api.minimaxi.chat, and then click OK. One last step, the last module. All right. So that's the Airtable again, and we're going to update the records. Now you'll have to go through the authorization again, uh, selecting the same Airtable on the same base that you've been using, same table you've been using. Now you're going to want to get the record ID, and that's going to come from the first Airtable. We're going to select that, make sure that's in there, and that will return the video to our table. Next, we're going to look at video prompt field from the Airtable. Uh, we want to put in the choices, which is right there, and then we're going to extend that and also get messages and put in content. You go into choices and message and content, and we're just capturing, like what we're doing here is we're capturing what we prompted and actually created. And that video is gonna go back into our air table. In the field create minimax video, type the word done and make sure you proper case it, capital D, or at least case it in the same way you did with the buttons so that it will update that field to done. Oh, for the field called minimax video, it needs a file URL. So we're just going to get that from the last Minimax HTT module retrieve video. And you can get that from underneath data and open file. And you want to download that URL. You want to click that right there. And once you put that in there, it'll populate over here. And what that's going to do is it's going to grab everything and upload it into your Airtable. Click OK. And at this point, you are going to want to save definitely always save as you're building it and you know always go ahead and test it out all right so let's play with this i'm laughing a little bit uh so the let's widen this up so you could see my beautiful mind in action so the post that i put together is a blog post it's a 500 word blog post on a joyful dance of a determined mouse and you could read through this if you'd really like to it's a, a tiny ballerina mouse with a tutu uh, <laughs> she swirls, her nose catches something, an aroma of aged cheddar, and there it is. She finds it uh, perched atop a small wooden block. So it's just the story of a mouse in a tutu that's searching for cheese. So we're going to see what type of video it creates for me based on that article. Let's click run once inside of our make automation. It's grabbing from the Airtable, and now it is creating the video prompt, and it's going to be very detailed. It went through the text parser so that Minimax will work. Uh, we are now over here developing the videos. It takes about five minutes. Remember, I gave it 300 seconds. All right, it shot the video created off to Minimax to check the status. Then it retrieved the video, and it plopped it back into our Airtable. So let's go see what we got. So now we're back at our Airtable and you could see it plopped in the video prompt it made and it put our video in here. So let's just look at the prompt it made real quick. It did everything that the blog article talks about. Uh, she twirls elegantly. Uh, she's looking for a piece of cheese and when she finds it, a bunch of confetti begins to drift above uh, and she's in a tutu. So let's take a peek at what it made. <laughs> she found the cheese, yay! <laughs> So, ah, it was absolutely adorable. I love it. It is so cute. Um, but you could see how this could be super beneficial to your content creation. Uh, it can generate videos, like I said, from for your blogs, for uh, your social media posts. I mean, these are adorable. Well, mine is adorable. Yours might be a little bit more professional, I assume. But for my example purposes, I like to make things a little fun. We did not do AI pasta this time. If you've been tuning in with me, you know that I love that. But now we're doing a mice in a tutu. So that's it. Uh, it is Minimax all the way it is one of the best AI video creation tools out there I highly suggest you play around with it follow this tutorial build it out on your own have a blast and remember that I run a school where you can get all of this with one click and you won't have to build it at all 
Uh, my school is called the AI Marketing Automation Lab. I'd love for you to check it out. Uh, we are currently growing our members and we're growing our content. We are just at the beginning and I can't wait to see you there. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm Kelly. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and I look forward to the next tutorial.